Welcome back, fish guys and girls. Today, we're off on another exciting shopping adventure. This time, hunting for some colorful starfish to bring even more life to our backyard saltwater pond. As you guys know, I've been challenging myself to make the pond feel more like a vibrant reef. Recently, we added a stunning slingjaw wrasse and a lively school of bait fish, but I still feel we're missing that extra pop of color. Hopefully, by visiting a few fish stores, we'll find the perfect starfish to help bring that reef-like feel. Let's dive in and see what we can find. What's going on, boys and girls? We are jumping right into this one. We're heading straight down to the fish stores. I think we're gonna hit about three fish stores today, possibly four. Hop in the brown turd. She's a bit of a mess, but we won't talk about it. So we're on our way to the very first fish store and we are looking solely for starfish. That is it. We want to add starfish to our saltwater pond today. We're trying to make it slowly come together and just feel like a lively reef all on its own. We added a school of bait fish a couple of videos ago. We still have about a dozen of those left inside of there. So the fish are picking them off, but we have a school of bait fish in there that's been, I don't know, about maybe almost two weeks. So that's a good thing. But today we're going to be adding the starfish. We're hopefully going to get a red one, an orange one, a blue one. We're just going to go search the fish stores. Probably going to hit three of them today, like I said earlier. And we're hoping to come back with just a good variety of starfish. Now, side note, today's date is the 25th of October. I talked to you guys about uh, No Shave November. Comment section was fabulous. OK, you guys were engaging in it like I've never seen before. And listen, the mustache is coming back. We're not starting just yet. We still have one week left, so I am going to shave this thing down completely to the bare skin on October 31st. And then we're solely going mustache the whole month of November. We're going to shave the beard. We're going straight stash. And I want you guys to do it with me. If you guys are wanting to do no shave November, roll it with me. Fish Guy Jack is doing it. Now, aside from No Shave November, Halloween's coming up. October 31st, we got Halloween. To me, Halloween is probably one of my least favorite holidays out of all of them. I don't know why. I'm just not a big fan of the whole scary, spooky theme. But uh, this is the first year since I've been a kid that I've actually been excited for Halloween. We are going to a Halloween costume party and I am really thinking I'm gonna win, okay? I've got a fabulous costume that Tori and I got last night at Party City, and I am pumped up for it. It's like just such a simple costume, but I have high hopes that I'm going to win this costume party. Now, as I'm driving 35 minutes down to the fish stores, I want y'all to listen up to this important message I'm about to show you, and that is the importance of having backup power. And that's why I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Blue Eddy. Take a look at the saltwater pond here. You guys can see water's crystal clear, filters running great, the sharks are doing well, the groupers, the eels, the sling jaw, all the bait fish that we put inside of here yesterday, everything's doing so good. One of the scariest parts of being a fish owner, like a lot of you guys are as well, is power outages. In the last two weeks, we've had two major hurricanes hit the west coast of Florida. Luckily for us, we did not lose power. We didn't have much damage at all. But let me tell you guys what, I'm 23 years old. I've been through my fair share of hurricanes and losing power is terrible. You see this pond the way it is? Well, guess what? In the blink of an eye, if I'm not prepared, I can lose everything inside of here. And that's why I have all my trust in Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy is a portable battery that is a absolute lifesaver. This is the AC200L paired with the Blue Eddy B300K. This is the Blue Eddy AC200L. You got two USB-C outlets, a USB-A outlet, two DC outlets, four regular outlets, and another AC output right here. And let me tell you what, this thing alone is an absolute beast. But when you pair it with the Blue Eddy 300K, this is a battery expansion. This thing together is the holy grail. For you aquarium people, listen, it doesn't have to be a natural disaster for you to lose power. You can lose power at any moment and you could be out of power for hours. And if you have these batteries on hand, your fish will be safe. If you're an outdoorsman and you like camping, this thing can charge your phone, power lights, power mini fridge, power stove top. Blue Eddy will be your best friend. I'm about to fully run my pond from these power stations right now for the next five hours. And I'm gonna give you guys the honest, Results. Let's crank her on. Here we go. There she goes. Alrighty, five hours. We are at 32% and we are running. It is 5.06 in the evening. It has been five hours. Let's come take a look 
We have 9% left. We started with 32, so that's 23% in five hours. That is pretty dang good. I'm extremely happy with that. That is five hours of powering this pond right here that has a big pump and a big filter that includes a UV light. I'm extremely happy with it. If you guys wanna get a Blue Eddy power station for yourself, I'll have all their information linked down below in the description. I've got a lot of faith in them. I love Blue Eddy. If you got aquariums or you're an outdoorsman, I'm telling you guys, Blue Eddy has your back. Now, let's get back into today's video. Alrighty, here we go. Fish store number one. Check out this school of Antheus right here. These are the type of fish I wanna start being able to put inside of the, uh, the 1,000 gallon saltwater pond in the back. You got that Emperor Angel. You got flame angels, just so much color variation to go inside. Bicolor angel, you got copper band butterflies, so many different types of fish that we aren't able to put inside of the saltwater pond right now, just solely because of the sharks and the groupers. We got a queen angel, got a nice tang right there. It's either powder brown or powder blue. Really pretty purple tang right there. Take a look at that guy. Purple tang, Clarkies. You got six line wrasse. Check out these big zebra mora eels. But something I wish we could have in the pond really bad are these red booted shrimp. Look at those guys. They are so dang cool. But we're missing out on all of this solely because of the predator style pond. Yeah, the clownfish, all this really awesome community style fish that we just can't put in. But that's something we're gonna talk a little bit more about later in today's video. So right here, we got some of the starfish. You got three of them right there. These guys are actually orange. Very hard to tell with this blue light on, but these are orange ones. So we're definitely gonna pick up some of those. He says he's got a blue one inside of here as well, but if we just get an orange one, we'll hit the next fish store and grab some more. Fish store number two. It looks like they just got in a shipment. You guys can see they got fish in bags up on the top of the tanks here. It looks like we got some tangs here. Looks like they got another tang and another tang. Looks like a big tang shipment. Really, really cool. Check out this puffer fish right here. He's a cute little guy. We are on the hunt for starfish. Oh, is that a big one right there? That might be a big one right over there. Okay, we want a blue one. We're looking for a blue and we're looking for numbers. Check out these clownfish here. I think these are golden nugget clownfish. They're hanging out in this bubble tip anemone. These guys are super cool. And as of right now, you guys can kind of see that I'm kind of hinting that I think we're going to transition my pond from a predator pond into a community pond. And with it being outside with the natural sunlight, anemones should do very, very, very well. Wow, look at that one right there. These might be a type of maroon. So I don't think you can get a school of uh, oscillaris with them because these guys will be very mean. But wow, is that a cool looking clownfish right there. Really, really pretty. That one is like extremely, extremely golden, but these guys are hanging out inside of the anemones. I'm getting sidetracked, but I'm just also getting extremely, extremely excited. Another starfish. I think that might be a chocolate chip and they have a serpent star somewhere in the bottom of this aquarium here. Oh, you guys can maybe see his little leg wiggling. Look at all those little baby dories inside of there. All right, I think I know what I gotta get here and we're on to the next fish store. Fish store number three and take a look at this. This thing is a whopper. Look at that gorgeous specimen right there. Big chocolate chip and another big starfish right beside him. Definitely getting that guy, taking him home for sure. Check out all the colors starting around in this tank here. You got yellows, blues, and oranges. Imagine that in the 1,000 gallon in the backyard with our rock structure. That would be crazy. This yellow school of damsels is really cool. The starfish have been secured. We got some awesome ones. Now we're gonna head back home and we have some serious stuff to talk about. And we have made it back home. We have a bucket full of starfish and we have a beautiful saltwater pond right here. Take a look at the sunlight beaming down in here. You guys can see we are starting to grow a little bit of algae inside of here, but that's totally fine. Gives it a natural look and it gives something like the starfish that we have inside of here already something to feed on. You guys can see we got a chocolate chip starfish right there. We got our school little pilchards, about a dozen or so left. And we've got uh, the panther grouper right over there. We got Richie Rich. Rory, the two eels, and as you guys can see, Happy Gilmore is no longer in there. And this is the good news, but also the bad news that I was talking about in this video. First off, let me start by saying the pond, as you guys see it, 
It's gonna stay looking the same, but we are gonna change it from a predator pond into a reef pond. And let me tell you what, it took a lot for me to make this decision. I love the sharks, I love the groupers, I love the eels, love everything about them, but uh, it was just, it's just time for something new. Change is good. The bad news is, is that I'm not gonna be keeping either of the sharks. We're not gonna be keeping Happy Gilmore, nor are we gonna be keeping Richie Rich. Now here is why. As you guys know, at the Fish Guy Warehouse, we already have a bamboo shark in there. And the big thing with that pond is we wanna make sure we have a variety of, uh, of sharks. So we don't wanna have two sharks that are the same. So we already have that bamboo shark. Our boy Stanley, he's doing so good inside of there. So I am going to be rehoming Richie Rich and Happy Gilmore, which Happy Gilmore actually already did end up rehoming. He was the easier one to rehome because he's a smaller one, but I still got to find a new home for Richie Rich. The good news though, the good news is, is that some of the fish inside of here are going to be going to the Fish Guy Warehouse. And I'm not going to disclose exactly which ones, but just know that uh, you guys will be seeing some of those fish in the warehouse. So I'm happy we get to keep some of these guys still. But yeah, that's the good news and the bad news. The bad news is we're not going to keep either of the bamboo sharks, but the good news is some of those fish Pretty much all the leftover fish are gonna be going to the warehouse, so I hope you guys are excited for that. In the meantime, we are gonna be getting these starfish acclimating, and the starfish are great because, look at the size of this one, you guys. How freaking cool is that? That's a big, fat chocolate chip starfish right there. Wow, that is a good one right there. We got uh, just some typical orange stars oh you can't really see this guy all too well but i did you guys already know i had to walk out of there with this beauty take a look at that whopper absolute whopper of a starfish so so pretty i'm gonna get them just floating in here for a little bit and then i'm gonna get this get them uh dripping so let's put all those inside up here look at that we got five new starfish for the pond. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, Jack, you're getting rid of everything inside of here. Yes, that is true, but I will not be getting rid of these starfish because these starfish obviously can go right in here and they're gonna fit so well with things like clownfish and tangs and everything. I am super excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. We're gonna go for the community pond and I am thrilled for it. We're gonna feed Rory, but I want you guys just to imagine for a second, just a bunch of color darting around inside of this pond. Like, look how good that red starfish looks inside of here. You know, the sharks are obviously amazing as well as the groupers and everything, but they're hiders. They like to hide in the rocks while things like clownfish and tangs, they're gonna be out and about so much more. I'm actually gonna drop some pellets for, come on, come on, Rory. He does not wanna leave him. There you go, we got the Sergeant Majors eating. He's eating some pellets. Those guys are getting pretty big. Watch, here comes Rory. He's gonna jump right off Richie Rich and get right to those pellets. There he goes, there he goes. Look at him over there. He's eating all those pellets. He sees them all on the surface. He'll make his way back over here. Come on, boy. Hey, hey, you want these? He, there's so many pellets that are just going drifting in a circle right now in the current that he's just picking them off. There he goes, look at him. Man, I'm gonna miss seeing him inside of here, but we are gonna have some awesome fish coming soon, and I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of it. <laughs> Look at Rory, he doesn't know what to do. There's pellets everywhere. Eat up, buddy, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, he's loving it. All right, we're gonna get the starfish inside of here, and we're gonna start uh, getting them acclimated. All right, we're gonna get some of these. Actually, we're gonna get all of these inside of here. I wanna show you guys the size of this beauty right here. Wow. Take a look at that starfish right there. That starfish right there is so pretty. Big, juicy chocolate chip right there. Look at the spikes on him. You guys can see it looks like he's got little chocolate chips all over him, but we're gonna get all these starfish inside of here. Take a look at the color on that one. This guy's much smaller, but very vibrant, very orange. I've got another one of those inside of this bag. We got a total of five Pretty looking starfish. This guy's a little bit darker. You guys can see that right there. This guy right here is just a wee bit darker. I've got another chocolate chip starfish in this one. Now the reason why I like the chocolate chip starfish so much is because they really do a great job cleaning up the bottom. And I actually want to show you guys the size difference between the two of these. Take a look at that. You got a big one right here and you got a little one right here and I actually have another one in the, in the saltwater pond right now that's about this size. So. 
Really awesome starfish stocking. Now for the best one. This is by far the prettiest starfish that I have ever seen. I mean, that right there is incredible. I really wanted to get a blue starfish, but nobody had them in stock. Take a look at that one. That is a gorgeous starfish. Very red, very, very red. Red and gray, that's a great color combo. I'm gonna get these guys acclimated, add some water into this bucket, slowly get them going. I'll see you guys when they're ready. While these starfish are ready to go, they all made their way over to this little corner here. Take a look at them in the sunlight. They are freaking beautiful. And I'm gonna actually do something I've never done before. And I'm gonna put this camera underwater while I'm filming. Let's get this big, juicy chocolate chip starfish inside of the pond. Take a look at that right there. All right, we're risking it right now. Fully risking it for the biscuit. Let's get them inside. Here you go. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Let's, let's get that other chocolate chip starfish inside of there. Put them right beside. We're gonna put them all right there in that area. Take a look at those starfish. The orange on them is so pretty. Let's go ahead and get them inside. One, two, and three. Down, down, down they go. They're gonna be scattered all throughout of this pond right here. They're gonna be booging and they're gonna get to cleaning. Well, I'm talking to you guys and I'm living on a prayer that you guys can hear me. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to completely redo this tomorrow. I hope you guys did enjoy the starfish stocking. You guys will be seeing more of them in an upcoming video. I hope you guys are on board with the decision that I've made. I'm happy some fish are still going to the warehouse and I'm sure you guys are gonna be happy about that as well. Get ready, the reef pond is gonna be ridiculous. We're talking clownfish, tangs, angels. I want whatever fish you guys want inside there. Let me know down below in the comment section. I would really, really appreciate it. Remember, change is good and that's one thing i struggle with is change i have to really force myself i have to really push myself but a lot of times when i do do something that i'm not used to i make that step i make that change i just become a lot happier so i love you all so much thank you all so much for watching my videos and i will see all you guys in that next video peace out